Hello and welcome to another Rightly Witterings. And if today you think I've suddenly developed a deeply sexy voice, that's because I'm suffering from the very last stages of one of the most vile, unpleasant summer colds I've ever had. No, it wasn't Covid. I did three tests in three days and no, it wasn't Covid, but it was horrible. So, what am I talking about today? I'm going to be talking about this, the Indiana Jones lever fill fountain pen, because I've had some questions about the lever fill mechanism itself. Here we go. So, here is the Indiana Jones Model 58 fountain pen, and the noticeable item is this, the lever filling mechanism. Now, I've been contacted by a gentleman asking do I think the lever mechanism is secure and the reason why is he has heard from some people that it seems to be a bit flimsy and he's not convinced or he's doubtful that it would be strong enough to last for very long now first of all if I just hold it up here you can see there I think difficult to see while looking at the screen but it does seem to be flat across to about there and then it comes up and sticks up a bit here now the first thing I want to do is just talk a little bit about how these pens work and how better than to do it with the pen so you have a pen barrel nib at this end inside that barrel if we open it up just a bit to make it look a bit easier you've got the nib coming to the feed which goes into the pen and there is a sort of rubber sack inside the pen which is the reservoir itself so you fill this sack full of ink and you have a working pen wonderful here there is a metal plate which is attached somehow or not even necessarily attached to the lever which comes out through the wall here of the pen itself and usually it's attached by a pin somehow I assume the pin would be in here somewhere so what happens is when you pull here the lever comes out I'm putting a rounded end there so you can see how it's working on the plate and squeezes this plate inwards so now we have the two walls of the pen out here And this lever is squeezing the sack flat. And then when you release the lever, the sack can return to its ordinary shape. So in its ordinary shape, the sack is a circular section. So if you just take a section through here, it will show as a circle. Here though, it's been deformed down to this sort of shape, if you take a section through there. So all you're doing is you've got a, a rubbery sack like a balloon, you squeeze it flat, and because it has fairly thick walls, when you release the lever, or flatten the lever down again, it wants to return to its ordinary shape. But, if you have it stuck vertically in a pot of ink, like this. The pen is down like that. <coughs> it's going to take some little time for that ink sack to work, because what happens is when you've got... Let's just look at it from the point of view of the ink sack. I won't bother drawing nibs and so on but you've got an ink sack 
and you stick it in a pot of ink like this. So there's your pot of ink, this is your ink. You stick it in, you squeeze it flat, let it release and it will try to get back to its ordinary shape and it will suck ink back into it up to a certain level but it can't get all the way up there will always be a bit of a vacuum because you've got air pressure acting down on the ink but you've also got gravity stopping the ink from going too far up because you've got to counteract air pressure with gravity pulling back down here if that makes sense so what happens is you can't have that a sudden appearance of air in the top that's going to be a vacuum so what actually happens is you have this pot of ink you have your deflated ink sac that's trying to suck up all the ink and it can't quite manage it because of air pressure acting on it and gravity acting on the ink so you end up with it like that so what you've got to do is hold the pen the other way up and then the sack can just suck in a little bit of air which will form a small air bubble in the ink sack it's a very long-winded way of saying all this so basically what I'm saying is you have your delightful little fountain pen it's going to take a little bit of time for the lever to actually go flush again and what I'm going to do now is just demonstrate that I hope because I am optimistic but as far as I can tell yep that lever is flat you can hear it tap slightly because it's, it's not perfectly flat but it's as good as damn it so empty out the, the ink sac empty it again you can hear that slow suck up of ink there now looking at that lever it does look as though it might have got slightly bent one of the concerns that was mentioned was that it might be a bit flimsy I don't think it is I think it's fairly robust. It's as robust as any other lever fill I've ever tried. I haven't tried a huge number of them, but it seems pretty strong to me. So let's just get some ink into this lovely Israel Zeblau from Ackerman ink bottle. And I failed. <laughs> let's do that again. Right, here we go. Ink into the top turn it back the other way the marble should hold the ink in the top did a bit better that time now pull the lever all the way open stick it in the ink shut the lever up and just leave it there for a moment or two <coughs> and this means that currently we're at this stage I've let the lever go so it's trying to suck up as much ink as it possibly can but it can't fill all that massive gap entirely because gravity is sucking the ink back down into the ink bottle air pressure is pushing down on the ink trying to push ink up into the sack so you've got air pressure here trying to push down but gravity is pulling the ink down as well so although ink is being pushed up here by air pressure is being pulled back down by gravity if that makes sense I hope it does so now I have a wonderful little Conway Stewart model 58 I have filled it and now as you can see the lever is flat <coughs> it has got slightly bent I think it's fair to say there is a slight bend going up from there but it is very slight and I don't think it's a showstopper or a real problem and that I think is about all I've got to say here so the thing you've got to bear in mind is is the lever itself flimsy no I don't think it is 
it's not hugely strong if you're going to treat it without much care it it may start distorting mine is slightly bent after a significant amount of use um, but I wouldn't say it was flimsy does it get bent so it sticks up not really the only way that this is sticking up currently that I can see is that the metal circle at the very top is resting slightly on the plastic of the barrel at the base of the circle it's very hard to see on the camera it's hard enough to see actually in real life and in fact I'm wrong it's the end of the cup here is resting on the barrel so it's right here that is touching the barrel of the pen at the very top don't know if that's possible to see I very much doubt it to be honest you'll have to take my word for it so his question was is the lever too flimsy no I don't think so the other question was does it stick out and project out no it doesn't you can see there if I pull it out slightly it flicks straight back in now sometimes it doesn't flick entirely back in like that but in fact it's actually moved back into place again so <coughs> I would say no the lever fill mechanism is not a cause for concern I would say I'm perfectly happy with it myself if you are a bit um, more energetic with your pen and you want to really yank the lever open maybe it will be a bit flimsy in that case but I don't think you should have a problem with this I think this is robust enough for me certainly it should be for anyone really Two paracetamol down, and a fresh cup of tea, necessary today. So I'm sorry about the slightly confusing use of uh, physics in that explanation. Hopefully it makes some sense. I'm constantly aware when talking of things like this, just how limited my abilities are to explain things. But basically, if you dunk any pen into an inkwell, vertically, and then try to suck ink up, it can only go so far because you've got the action of a vacuum in this case trying to suck in up into a rubber or silicon sack and that's great you've got that vacuum pulling but then you've also got gravity trying to stop the ink from going up so it's the counterbalance of the two forces and when they're equal that means your reservoir is as full as it's going to get but it won't be fully full fully full but it won't be completely full Put it that way, it's better. If it's not completely full, then the lever has, is going to have a little bit of play in it. It's still going to wobble slightly. It's only when you take the pen out of the ink and turn it upside down so that air can flow in that the lever lies flush with the barrel of the pen. I hope that makes sense. If not, write to me and I'll, I'll just cry. It's easier. I'm not going to explain it in writing because it would take far too long. So I hope that was interesting. Thanks a lot for watching. Really apologise for my voice. This blasted cold has been horrible. And there you go. Thanks a lot for watching. And don't forget, if you like this video and you'd like to help support the channel, you can go to Patreon link, you can PayPal, you can hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, share it, like it, tell your friends and all that stuff. And apart from that, I'll be back next week with something hopefully a little bit less convoluted. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ah. Don't you just love a summer cold?